This is Ready Nation, a show where you can catch all the latest news on your Henderson Readies. I'm your host, Holly Carter. We broke this story last week and we've got some more news on the resignation of head baseball coach John Harvey. Harvey took the head coaching position at the University of Arkansas at Monticello, leaving his position vacant. Athletic Director Kale Gober announced this week that assistant coach Cody Hooten will serve as the interim head coach until a replacement for Harvey can be found. Hooten has been on the ready staff as an assistant coach for the last two years. Last season, Hooten helped lead the team to the Gulf South Conference Tournament, a first ever for the Reddies. He has also served as the chief recruiter and hitting coach. Before coming to Henderson, Hooten served as an assistant coach at Pratt Community College. Eleven of his players there went on to play baseball professionally. The Reddies have already started fall practice under Hooten's direction. Join us after the break to find out if the Lady Ready cross country team pulled out a win against the Washita Baptist University. I want change. I want to be made. I want ice cream. I want to stay awake in math class and pass it. I want to be successful. I want to score a touchdown. You got it! I don't cry when my dog runs away. I don't get angry at the bills I have to pay. Love is what I got. Welcome back to Ready Nation. Some of the Lady Ready teams were back in action this weekend. Both the volleyball and cross country teams recorded victories. Batesville, Arkansas served as the site of destruction this time around as the Lady Ready volleyball team extended their winning streak to five in a row. The ladies beat Lyon College in three straight sets. Senior Robin Law recorded 16 kills for Henderson, while junior Rayla Doty had eight and senior Shawana Watkins recorded six. The Lady Reddies hit the road for a tournament in Huntsville, Alabama, but returned home on September 23rd to face the University of Arkansas at Monticello. The Lady Ready cross country team ran at the Bob Gravitt Invitational Meet at Washita Baptist University. They competed against OBU and the University of Arkansas at Monticello. Did the Lady Reddies pull out the win? They sure did. For the second week in a row, the Lady Reddies finished atop the standings. Senior Tracy Blair led the team with her second place finish. Freshman Jace Tatum finished sixth and freshman Kayla Marie Gaines finished eighth. The Lady Reddies traveled to Rhodes College to compete on September 25th. The men's cross country team also competed this weekend. The Reddies ran at the University of Arkansas at Little Rock Cross Country Invitational. Teams at the meet included Arkansas State University, Grambling University, and Christian Brothers University. Of the 79 participants at the meet, Ready runner Gabby Gioka managed to finish in astounding seventh place. UALR won the meet, placing five of their runners in the top seven. The men compete again on September 25th in Memphis, Tennessee. We're going to take a quick break, but stay tuned to get the latest on your Arkansas Razorbacks. Hello and welcome to HTV. This is your campus news. HTV Studios is a student-run television station at Henderson State University. It has provided campus news, sports, and specials for Arkadelphia over the past few decades. 
HCV has the latest filming and editing equipment to bring you its highest quality programming and it is getting better each year. HTV, always up to date. 75 total points of offense. That's what the Arkansas Razorbacks have accounted for in their first two games of the season. After the initial win against Tennessee Tech, the Hogs played well against the University of Louisiana at Monroe. After recording almost 500 yards of offense against Monroe, a win was inevitable. Quarterback Ryan Mallett passed for three touchdowns and rushed for another. Ranked 12th in the latest AP polls, the Razorbacks travel to Georgia this weekend to face the Bulldogs. College football on Saturday set a good stage for the first Sunday of NFL football. And what more could you ask for after the Sunday we had? Plenty of offense, defense, and upsets. Perhaps the biggest upset of the weekend came when the Houston Texans knocked off the Indianapolis Colts, 34-24. A little closer to home, the Dallas Cowboys also fell victim to an upset, losing to the Washington Redskins, 13-7. Quarterback Tony Romo threw for almost 300 yards, but only one touchdown. The Cowboys will play the Chicago Bears this Sunday. One final thought in Ready Sports, the Ready Football team enjoyed a bye this weekend, but the team travels to Russellville, Arkansas to take on Arkansas Tech. Kickoff is scheduled for 6 p.m. That's it for this week. Be sure to catch Ready Nation next week for the latest on your Henderson Reddies. I'm Holly Carter.